Hello, fellow human beings of planet Earth. Today I'm going to be um, telling you guys 30 things about myself. And I'm going to be doing it in soft spoken style. I've never done this before, so hopefully you guys like it. Um, if not, well, you know, there will always be next time. Um, yeah, I wrote them down on my notebook because I'm actually kind of a boring person and it was really hard to think of 30 things to say about myself. Also, I'm probably going to be going a little bit fast just because I don't want my cell phone to die. Probably should have charged it before filming, but yeah, but you know, life happens. Anyway, so here we go. So the first one is that my last name is Polish. Um, I love my last name. I wish that I could tell you guys what it is, but I don't want to get my head cut off. So, for safety reasons, obviously, I can't tell you, but it's Polish. Uh, also, I was born in Minnesota, but I've always lived in Wisconsin. Um, I live pretty much, like, right at the border in my city. Uh, we do have a hospital, but they basically, I don't really know what they do there because anytime anyone goes to the hospital, they just go to Minnesota. But I think they use a hospital for like, um, if the other hospital is like overfilled. Um, yeah, it's really weird. But yes, I am 100% a Wisconsin girly. Um, next thing about me is that I can say the alphabet backwards. It's been a while, but here we go. C Y X W V U T S O Q P O N M L K J I H G F E D C B A. I think I did that correctly. Um, let me know if I fucked it up in the comments. So basically, when I was in fifth grade, we had these nameplates at the top of our desks, and they um they have like the alphabet and like uh, numbers and stuff, and I don't really like science. I'm fascinated by it, but it just doesn't make sense in my brain. So when our teacher was teaching us science stuff, I taught myself how to say the alphabet backwards. It's one of my many useless skills. When I was 11 years old, I ran a fraudulent lemonade stand. I can't say any more about that. Sorry. Um, something about me is that I used to have really bad scoliosis. I had three curves in my spine. And when I was 16, I had to have a major back surgery to fix it. So I've got rods, pins, hooks, screws, and cables up mm, majority of my spine. It's crazy. I do not know how to swim. I can't do it. You know what? Who cares? Swimming's overrated anyway. I have been on a cross-country road trip from Wisconsin all the way to LA. It was a crazy trip. Um, I loved it, you know, because it was like with my family and everything. 
wrong, but everything that could have gone wrong on the trip did. It was a nightmare, but, um, definitely very memorable. Um, this is something that only, like, the people very, very, very close to me know. Um, like, my family, um, and only, like, a couple of my friends know this. I have slight germophobia. I w wouldn't say, like, I have it just because, like, it's not that bad, you know? It's not, like, Howie Mandel level. No offense to him. But, um, I do wash my hands a lot. Like, you should wash your hands, but I wash my hands a lot. So much so that, like, sometimes my hands are really dry and they, like, crack and bleed. Um, one time I, like, touched, I had something gross on my hands and I touched my doorknob and even though I've, like, cleaned it and I've put bleach on the doorknob, I still won't touch it. I basically take my shirt and fold it over the doorknob and then I turn it and open it. I literally will not touch that doorknob. Um... I always use my elbow when I'm turning on, like, light switches or turning them off. Like, I'm trying to think if there's, like, anything else. Like, it's not that bad, but sometimes I do things and they're a little bit weird. That, like, like somebody that doesn't have that would think is weird. But, like, again, it's not that bad. It's manageable. Um... I know that it could be a lot worse. Um, sometimes I do have flare-ups, but again, it's really not that bad, but that is just something about me that I don't think anybody really knows, unless they live with me. So, yeah. I love camping. I haven't been camping in years, but I love it. Um, Along with, like, the other fact about me, I have a difficult time eating outside. Like, I'm fine, but, like, eating outside with, like, the bugs, it makes me kind of, like, sick on the inside. So, that is, again, it's not that bad. Like, I'm not gonna say it's a walk in the park, but, like, I manage. Like, I can... I'm fine. Um, my god, I, I probably sound so crazy right now. Um, but it, it's not, um, without struggle, should I say. Like, it's fine, but, yeah, all the bugs and the flies and the, it's really, really gross. My astrological sign is Pisces. Um, I'm learning how to paint. I don't know how to, I don't know like proper technique, I don't have any skills, but I'm doing this self-portrait and then I'm gonna start learning how to paint and then like over the years I'm gonna do more self-portraits and like, you know, basically like so I can check my progress. But yeah, that's something that I'm learning how to do. One time, I <laughs> went to Las Vegas for a weekend, and I don't remember Saturday. I only know what people told me. Um, I actually got to go to like, this um, exhibit, and I got to see Michael Jackson's jacket. I love Michael Jackson, but I have no memory of seeing his jacket. I have a picture of it, um, so I have proof that I saw it. I just don't remember it because I was so fucked up. My favorite 
pop is Coca-Cola. I don't drink it anymore though, unless, you know, like, go out to like a restaurant or something. But, yeah, I love Coca-Cola. It actually used to be my gamer tag. One of my obsessions... No, I wouldn't say obsession. Because I, I don't like that word. It's kind of, it has like a negative connotation. One of my deep fascinations is with the Titanic. Um, obviously, I like the movie. It's a good movie. My grandfather used to have this, um, I don't know if it's like a documentary. It's called the RMS Titanic, um, film thing. And, uh, at the time, it was the most accurate film ever created on it, I think. I think it still might be, I'm not sure. Anyway, so that ignited my curiosity with it. And when I was a kid, I used to read those Magic Treehouse books. And one of them was them, the boy and the girl, I don't remember their names. Um, they went on the Titanic. And that also made me more interested in it. I think the Titanic was incredible for its time. I think that it was a very beautiful ship. Um, obviously, you know, it's tragic what happened to it and the people who were on it. Um, I think that also ignites some sort of curiosity. Um, and then there's like conspiracy theories, which those are fun. I'm not saying I believe in them, but they are interesting. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's just one of my deep fascinations. I actually joined a group on Facebook. Um, and some of the people that are in that group are very, um, educated on the matter. They themselves are, like, ship engineers and stuff, so... It's really interesting hearing what they have to say about some of this stuff. If I ever become wealthy, I want to go on a cruise um, on the Queen Mary 2. It's named after the Queen Mary that's docked in Long Beach, California. Uh, it is the last ocean liner in the entire world and it's by a company called Cunard which has existed since around the time of the Titanic and actually the White Star Line that um, owned the Titanic they actually merged with Cunard so I know I just really want to go on that ship but it's super expensive because it's a luxury ship. Um, so if anybody wants to be the Clyde to my body, let me know in the comments below. One time when I was in LA, I got locked in a museum and I had to call 911. I'm not joking, this actually happened. It was literally like something out of a movie. I'm probably gonna do a story time about that because it was wild. Another thing about me is that I actually like to read. I haven't really read in quite a while. I'm actually wanting to get back into it. So if anybody has any recommendations, please let me know. I'll definitely check them out. I cannot swallow pills to save my life. I literally can't. Um, so I have this pill crusher and I put the pills in there and then I spin it and I put the, um, mixture in a glass or a cup and then I crack open a pop and pour some in and then I drink it like that. 
Um, ibuprofen doesn't taste bad. Um, Tylenol kind of tastes bad. Iron pills taste like wet dog. Um, when I had my back surgery, <laughs> they gave me liquid version of the pills and they gave me a bunch of syringes and I would have to like, you know, do the right dosage and then squirt it into my mouth because I can't swallow pills. I'm a freak. I have a cat named Tabasco. Okay, I know, I know. I was really having trouble coming up with things to say. Um, Fred Figglehorn inspired me to be a YouTuber. I can draw. I don't really draw much anymore. Um, but these are some drawings and doodles that I've done. I used to really like to draw, but, um, I sort of stopped because I didn't think that I was any good, and I just thought it was a waste of time. I wish that I would have kept at it, but, you know, I don't know. I was just really self- conscious back then, so oh. sort of a picky eater. I don't know, my taste buds are just weird. Um, but I like Brussels sprouts. Uh, which I think is weird because apparently that's a thing that a lot of people don't like. But I like them. They're not bad. They're, they're pretty good actually, so. But also, it depends on who's making them and how they make it. But, I don't know, I just like Brussels sprouts. When I was a baby, I was an orange baby. Uh, because apparently I would only eat carrots and sweet potatoes. So much so that my pigment on my skin turned orange. And... My mom brought me to the doctor and was like, My baby's orange! And the doctor, um, told her to stop <laughs> feeding me orange stuff. And, yeah. I don't like carrots anymore, so, yeah. I am a night owl. I wish I was a morning person. Uh, I think that it would be really nice just to feel very refreshed and excited in the morning. And just, you know, enjoy the day. But I am a night owl. I, you know, like staying up late. I think I also just like um, having alone time and just like having the whole earth be silent so I can be alone with my thoughts. Um, but also, I just feel super motivated in the nighttime. I get my best ideas in the nighttime. I just feel like I can take on the world and I hate that I have to stop doing what I'm doing to, to sleep. I hate that. Um, so yeah, I'm a night person, 100%. Another thing that I'm not really good at is mathematics. Um, I struggle with doing like mental math and stuff. It's probably because I also didn't really pay attention to that in school. I was busy teaching myself how to say the alphabet backwards, but I count on my fingers. Uh, some people are like judgy about that, but it helps. It works for me. It is what it is. My favorite color is blue. Blue is literally the best color. Blue in the background. It's just, it's the best color. My eyes are blue. I cannot cook very well. Um, yeah, I, I can't cook very well.
Okay, well, I'm learning. But, uh, one time, I was making one of those little mac and cheese cups. And I guess I was on autopilot. And I forgot to put water in the cup. And I put it in the microwave. And it started smoking up, so I had to, you know... Open the door, open the window, turn the fan on, and uh, about two weeks later, the microwave died. Yeah. Um, my last fact is that I'm also deeply fascinated with ghosts. I definitely believe in them. I've had some experiences myself. Uh, one of them is just completely, um, indisputable. I'm not a doubt in my mind that that was a ghost. Um, I love watching the videos of, like, people going to, like, haunted places. Like, I love Sam and Colby. Um, TFIL stuff like that, but, uh, yeah, so that is 30 things about me, uh, I hope that you got to know me a little bit better, uh, I hope the soft speaking was okay, uh, but yeah, I hope that you guys have a good night's rest, um, see you next time!